Hi guys, Ryan Webbeking here for Horror Hive. I'm sitting here with two masters of horror. Guys, introduce yourselves. I'm Stuart Gordon. And I'm Dennis Paoli. That's right, folks. Uh, Stuart, what is it about, uh, um, we're, we're big like Lovecraft fans. Like, what is it about Lovecraft's work that keeps you coming back to it all the time? Well, uh, Lovecraft, I think, is always shocking. You know, his ideas are still so far out there. We haven't caught up with them yet. There's a whole uh, new school of uh, philosophy called speculative realism that's been out for about a decade. And uh, one of their uh, inspirations is Lovecraft, because Lovecraft was uh, so far, one, he was so uh, well versed in science. I mean, he really knew uh, the science of his time, but he was so imaginative that he could uh, project it forward. And we haven't caught up with him yet. I mean, the whole plot of Reanimator is as uh, current today. The technology isn't as current, but the plot is as current today as it was when we made it in uh, 84. Yeah, I think the technology is, uh, is pretty current, actually. Yeah, yeah close, yeah. yeah. They don't, the serums don't glow yet, but they will. Well, they don't glow in the Lovecraft story. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's very cool. Um, do you guys have, like, a, a favorite Lovecraft tale? Like, something that uh, you've been maybe wanting to adapt into film for a while? Well, we have done, we did an adaptation of The Thing on the Doorstep, which we've been wanting to make for quite some time now. Uh, it's one of our favorite stories. But it, there's so much, and it's all public domain. So uh, if there's filmmakers out there, you know, this is a great source of, uh, you know, material. It's a treasure trove. But, do, but don't do Thing on the Doorstep, because we really want to get that script made. We love that script. Actually, uh, someone just did it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what um, what do you think about about horror about horror hound? Like, um, have you guys done like a, a lot of these, or is this pretty much kind of the, the beginning of this kind of convention? Yeah. I I love being able to meet the fans because you know you make these movies and uh, you sort of hope people are watching them, and it's great. It's very rewarding when you actually get you know face to face with the people who are enjoying your movies. It's, it, it always inspires me to do more work. What I've found so I interesting about this one, uh, but it's been true for, I don't do as many as these guys, uh, but I do my share. Uh, and what's always fascinating and what's been particularly uh, encouraging at, at, at this Whorehound uh, in Cincinnati is that uh, there's so much creative work based on our work. There's so much artwork and uh, imaginative uh, uh, create creature building and, uh, and props. There's props. It's just the creativity that comes off of our work is uh, almost humbling. It's, uh, it, people do, the fact that we inspired any of that is uh, just uh, makes us feel great. That's very cool. Um, well, guys, I think that about wraps it up. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Horrorhive.com, where the blood runs like honey. Honey.